Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about nav meshes, and I'm going to show you guys how we can create the most basic AI ability ever. Aimless wandering, as you can see happening right now in the background with our little cloned human here. All right. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a couple blueprints. So we'll right-click here in the content browser. We'll go up to Blueprint Class. And we're going to create a controller. So we're going to search for AI controller. Just like the player controller controls a player pawn, for every AI you guys are going to make, you're going to need an AI controller. So we're going to create one of those. And we can call this my AI controller. And the other thing we're going to need to create, if we right click again, go to Blueprint Class, we'll create another character and we'll call this my AI. And we'll just double click on my AI and we're going to go down to the mesh and we're going to give this the standard skeletal mesh here and we'll position him in his little capsule and we'll rotate him so he's facing the right direction and we'll give him the third person animation And the last thing we're going to need to do in here is go up to this self. And we're going to need to make sure he uses our AI controller, my AI controller here. And we can hit compile and save. And that's all we'll need for this guy. So now we can come into our controller. Double click here. And we'll go to the event graph. Okay. And what we're going to want to do is search for this thing um, AI move to. And you see a bunch of things come up here under navigation. Move to actor, move to location, simple move to. We're going to look for this move to location. And then we're going to give our player a destination to go to here. So we can right click and promote this to a variable call this target and off of begin play we're going to hook this up here and we'll drag out of target and hold alt so we can set a target and we'll connect this up like so and what we want to do off of here if we drag out we can search for random point and we'll say random reachable point in radius and this will take a distance from our origin so if we right click here and split this structure pin we'll just have the origin start at 0 0 0 we'll have a radius of about a thousand and then what we're gonna do off of tick is we're going to check and see if our player has arrived at the target. So we'll drag out of here and say equal. And then we're going to right click and look for get control pawn. And we'll get the actor location. So this is going to figure out which pawn this particular AI controller is um, controlling because remember you guys can have multiple AI in one level and they can all use the same controller. So this will get the specific pawn for this controller right now. And we'll get the location of that actor and we'll plug it into here. And then we'll give this a tolerance maybe like 250 so that um, the pawn doesn't actually have to be exactly at the target point before it decides that it's arrived. And then we'll just hold B and click to create a branch node and we'll hook up the tick to this branch and if this is true we want to find a new random point and say move to that location so we can compile and save this and now let me delete this guy and we will drag in my AI and now if we hit play we'll see that our AI does absolutely nothing. 
And I did this on purpose because the most common mistake for people when they're um, using nav meshes and creating AI like this is they forget to actually put in a nav mesh. So I had deleted our nav mesh out of the level when we started. So we're just going to come over here to search classes and we'll type in nav mesh. You see nav mesh bounds volume comes up. We're going to just drag this into the world and we'll set the location to 0, 0, 0. And then we'll scale this up to be about 25 by 25 by 10. And as you see, it's building the navigation down here. And a little trick to see that um, you have a nav mesh in the world and it's working properly, if you guys hit the P key, you should be able to see a green floor that pops up. And this shows you everywhere that your AI will be able to travel. And if you hit P again, it'll go away. So now let's hit play. And as you can see, our little guy is running around rather aimlessly. And that is the basics of using a nav mesh. Obviously in a game you guys are gonna code a lot more behavior for this guy so maybe he can follow the player, maybe he wants to look and hide for cover, do certain things, and that's all stuff that we can add later. But I just wanted to show you guys the basics of using a nav mesh and how you can get some very simple uh, roaming AI behavior. Alright guys, I hope you thought that was helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.